Behind the camera. <laughs> The I biggest don't, party. I don't so think that they ever did 16. No, no, no. They have a party. It is. In Greece, why not then do it? Because they can pay in Greece. <laughs> have especially decided to do my last day of campaigning in Greece. And the reason is very simple. That is that the crisis around Europe started uh, in 2009, in December 2009 with Greece, and I think it is uh, important uh, for the last day of the campaign to be in Greece, to show uh, how we as Liberals and Democrats and Yerifes think that we can overcome this crisis in Greece uh, and in Europe. And uh, that's the reason why we have decided to, to, to do it uh, in, in uh, to do the last two days of the campaign uh, here in, in Athens, uh, in, uh, in Greece. Yesterday there was the exit polls in the Dutch elections in which our party, or parties I have to tell, D66 won the election against the uh, uh, extreme right wing uh, Geert Wilders party. Uh, and also our other party, Liberal Party, the VVD, was bigger than uh, Geert Wilders' party. Uh, and uh, together, um, based on the opinion polls, we shall have uh, seven or eight uh, seats uh, in uh, the Netherlands. We want uh, from Europe another, to see another Greece. And we think that also in Greece, people want to see another Europe. And that is what our program is. We want to see fundamental change in Greece, fundamental change in Europe. Fundamental change in Greece, why? Because we don't think that the actual government of uh, Neo Democratie and PASOK, of uh, Conservatives and Socialists, is real tackling and reforming the country. Greece has to change his clientelistic system. Greece has to change corruption, uh, fight against corruption. Greece has to open the markets for young people, so that they can enter in all the uh, professions that exist. Greece has to stop uh, with his uh, system of banks based on the public sector, mainly financing political parties. I have to tell you that I'm very pleased uh, to be here on this uh, fantastic meeting of uh, YFRS for the European elections. And it's, um, yeah, it's a little bit emotional because you are talking about politics in Athens, in Greece, where politics were born, where the democracy for the first time in mankind and in humanity has been established. We want another Greece and we want another Europe. That's our message. Conservatives and socialists were responsible for the policies in the Union the last five years with the bad results we see today. And we are responsible also for the problems, the deep problems of Greece. In these elections, it's about Europe and about Greece, about how to find a way out of the crisis. First of all, in Greece. In Greece, things are, in my opinion, as a liberal, quite simple. We need to end the clientelistic system. We need to open the markets and the society and the professions for young people, for new people, no closed shops. We need to have uh, less bureaucracy in this country. We need to have uh, not banks that are public, but are private, like in any country in the European Union. We need less tax burden and taxation on small and medium companies who are the backbone of the Greek economy.
So big difference, I have to tell Antigone, who is the head of the list, there is no big difference between... Πρέπει να καλυφθούν, μας λέμε. Ανάγκη του κράτους, 14.000 νέοι διορισμοί, φέγγι του κράτους και τα 300 εκατομμύρια δανεικά και γύριστα των κομμάτων και τα 200 πλενωμένες θα χτυπούν σαβουρλισμένες. Αυτά τέκνο της τυφλής οργής του κόσμου για όλα όσα σας περιγράφω. Εμείς, to other countries and vice versa. Well, what we need to do now is exactly the same. High interest rates, because of that, too high interest rates were killing the economy. <laughs>